Hi YouTube, I just got this delivered uh, yesterday. It's a 2-in-1 SMD rework station. It's basically a soldering iron and a hot gun. And it was $60 on eBay with free shipping. And so I thought I'd do an unboxing video and a small review. So there's a good shot. Try to get you a good shot of the label there. Of course it is a product of China. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that brand name. But uh, we'll open it up here and see what's inside. A little help card. Something's wrong with it. Uh, instruction manuals, which I'm sure is written in Chinglish, as I like to call it. Ooh, a certificate card, like a quality control check. I guess we'll see about that. Here's the main unit straight out of the box. Hot gun portion. And here's the solder and iron portion. It does have a plastic cover on it here. Be sure to remove that before firing it up. Tighten down the tip. Control or a view with a control panel there. And here's your stand for actual soldering iron. Got a little sponge here. You can wet that up to clean the tip. And here's different tips for the heat gun that were included. Some kind of other little tool that's included here. Alright, that's it for the unboxing portion. We'll get this uh, kind of set up, plugged in, and we'll see how it does. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it set up here. I read through the directions a little more and got it plugged in. I did heat the iron up once just to see how that worked and you got your power switch for your iron here and the power switch for the gun 
over here. I thought when I first fired it up, I thought there was a problem. Okay, now I have the iron switched on. And as long as this LED here is solid red, it's heating up. Okay, and then when it starts blinking, you've achieved your temperature. This is your temperature adjust for your soldering iron. So we'll just kind of shut that down and this is for the heat gun. Now it has a magnetic switch in it or something this will not fire up to actually lift it from the cradle. So we'll lift it up. And there you can see how fast that heats up. To change the temperature on the gun you use these up and down buttons here. Heats up pretty quick, too. And then here you can adjust your fan speed. And then we'll shut it down, see how fast it cools down. And this will stay running until it reaches, I think it said, uh, 100 degrees Celsius. There you can watch it cool down. Alright, so we're going to fire up the soldering iron again, and we'll give it a shot. See solid LED, it's heating up. Blinking, ready to roll now. I wish it did display the temperature here though. It'd be a little easier than reading the scale on this, but hey, for 60 bucks, you know, what do you expect? So I already set up a couple of wires here. We'll give it a shot. See how it does at actual soldering. Okay, shut that. Okay, that's all I need a soldering iron to do. Heat up and melt solder. I do. I don't know what gauge this is. Probably 18 gauge wire. I just set up as a test, and that's generally the way I would solder. And then I cover things with this heat shrink tube. So we'll set that over the top, and we'll give the heat gun a whirl and see how that works for shrinking this up. There you can see we're at full temperature. And I'm calling that complete. That's it's a good strong connection there now. So for sixty bucks, I'm saying it's hard to go wrong with this thing. Again, I wish it displayed the soldering iron temperature here because the you know, the scale here is a little hard to follow, but for 60 bucks, I'm happy with it. And I said, you know, I'm not some electronics genius that's 
it's uh, building my own circuits and stuff, but I have fixed computers, you know, I have no problem like removing a capacitor or something out of a motherboard and replacing it. So, you can find this on eBay. It is on Am. I have seen this on Amazon too, but I believe it's $10 more on Amazon versus eBay. So, you just search that out and I'll have the complete item description uh you know uh down on the page so thanks for watching that's my review i know it kind of sucked but there you go thanks